two thousand dollars right now, even if there was a major emergency. You know what I mean? Like me myself, and I can speak for other brothers. I can't. I can't even come up with a hundred dollars and stuff like that. You know what I mean? We're like paycheck to paycheck. We're being, you know, oppressed, oppressed in this society. We don't even have, um, you know, we don't even have money like that. Like I don't even have a bank account. You know what I mean? So, um, all right. This is uh number twelve. It says less than one out of every four Americans has enough money put away to cover six months of expenses if there was a job loss or major emergency. I'm going to read that again. It says, less than one out of every four Americans has enough money put away to cover six months of expenses if there was a job loss or major emergency. You know what I mean? And, uh, like, you know what I mean? A, a lot of us, you know what I mean? Brothers, you know what I mean? We, if we miss one or two paychecks, we're going to be homeless out on the streets and all this stuff. So, you know, that definitely will apply to us. But, uh, you know what I mean? Um, so, let me see. Uh, number 13. An, an astounding 56% of all Americans have subprime credit in 2014. Basically, what that's saying is, uh, bad credit. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of, a lot of, so that's saying more than half of the Americans have bad credit. Alright. Uh, uh, number 14. As I write about, as I, as I wrote about the other day, there are now 49 million Americans that are dealing with food insecurities. You know what I mean? Cause now it says 49, so like 49 million Americans, that means yeah, uh, you know what I mean? You don't know if you're gonna have enough food and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I, I, me and other brothers, you know what I mean? We, we just kind of get in the habit of trying to eat like one meal a day and, and fast and all that stuff like that. Cause we, we're gonna be, we're just trying to prepare for what's to come. So we see, you know, the, uh, the evils that's coming upon this place and we're trying to get ourselves right. But this is, uh, let me get a scripture. This is, uh, Mark 4 and 22. It says, for there, is nothing hid which shall not be manifest, neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. Alright, so there's nothing there's nothing that uh there's nothing that the elites, uh the Illuminati or whatever can hide that the uh most size prophets ain't gonna uh, bring out and reveal and stuff like that. It's we're revealing all these um plans and all these uh you know, uh, things that they, they're trying to uh, hide and keep from the people. Because if you, if you, if you go on the, uh, mainstream media, they're not telling you, they're not warning you about anything that's going on. They're, they're just, you know, trying to keep you in that docile, you know, mirth spirit and stuff like that. Or everything's okay and stuff like that. You know what I mean? The optimistic. Like when somebody comes out and tells you the raw, straight, uncut truth, people, uh, interpret that as being pessimistic, but well, that's not true. You know, the truth is the truth. Uh, <clears throat> so like it. this is a uh, Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse thirty seven. It says, "Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth they slack not a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth." And the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Alright, so basically, you know what I mean? That's what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? These plagues, these things that's happening to America, the economy, all this, this is gonna just get worse and worse and worse. So it's gonna destroy a lot of these people out here. Alright. The people that don't uh fear the most high and uh and seek uh seek him diligently. And uh, don't try to hide themselves under his wings, under the secret place of the Most High. Um, this is uh, number 15. Ten years ago, the number of women in the U.S. that had jobs outnumbered the number of women in the U.S. on food stamps by more than a two to one margin. But now the number of women in the U.S. on food stamps actually exceeds the number of women that had jobs. So that means the majority of women out now, but I mean, more women now are, uh, don't have, you know, uh, uh, it's like, yeah. yeah, they don't have, uh, jobs and stuff. They're, they're unemployed and they're, 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 uh, you know, they're, they're relying on the government and stuff. And, you know, just like the, uh, scripture that we always bring out. It's like, I'm gonna get it real quick. Since she knows me now. 
Cause uh, you know what I mean? This is what I always tell my uh my uh wicked ass son's mom and shit that got me on child support and trying to help, you know, oppress me and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's gonna come a time when the most high is gonna take that proud ass spirit away from you. Wipe that proud ass look off your face. You know what I mean? They don't understand that. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter thirty two verse nine. And this is data just proving it. It's gonna get worse and worse and worse. Is Isaiah chapter 32 and 9. Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall you be troubled, you careless women. For the vintage shall fail, and the gathering shall not come. Tremble, you women that are at ease. Be troubled, you careless ones. Strip ye and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your lungs. So, you know what I mean? Just like we always say, though, that, that, uh, that WIC, those uh, food stamps, that access card, that cash, that uh, Section 8, those um, SNAP, those uh, Social Security, all that stuff that, you know, you Israelite women like to depend on and rely on and all this stuff like that. That's going to the most high. is going to take that from you. And you're going to have to rely. And the Israelite man then is going to be a shelter from the wind. And you know what I mean? You shook your head and talked all this kind of shit, but then the Most High is gonna, uh, he's gonna, um, punish you for that. He's gonna chasten you for that. Alright, um, and that last two, it says, uh, number 16, 69% of the federal budget is spent either on entitlements or on welfare programs. Alright, so the majority of the money and stuff is spent on entitlement and uh, wealth, welfare, these social programs and stuff like that. And when the dollar collapses, when the economy collapses, you know what I mean? They already had the sequester bill and stuff, so they're already cutting, you know, the budgets and all this stuff like that. It's going to get worse, man. It's going to get worse. Last but not least, the number of Americans receiving benefits from the federal government each month exceeds the number of full-time workers in the private sector. By more than 60 million so the majority so it's it's uh I'm gonna read it again the number of Americans receiving benefits from the federal government each month exceeds the number of full-time workers in the private sector so that means it's more people receiving uh, these benefits from the government than people that's working full-time and stuff like that so and that's their whole plan they're trying to get people Unemployed and dependent on them, and then they're gonna, that's when they're gonna push and force the, uh, RFID chip on these people. Alright, um, this is, uh, it's Proverbs chapter 15, verse 14. It says, The heart of him that have understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. Alright, I'm gonna read it again. Proverbs 15 and 4. So like that, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 14. The heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. So the heart, the heart meaning the mind of the, the uh, men that seek uh, knowledge. So like that, the heart, the, so like the heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge. So we understand, so that's why we're seeking out the dark sayings of the Most High. The, we're trying to, you know, find out the truth. But it says the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. So that's all. These two thirds of our people, that's all they care about, you know what I mean? Like at my job and shit. You know what I mean? They think I'm weird because, you know what I mean, like I met this nigga at the job and he's talking about, you know, do do I uh do I uh you know, do I play video games, do I play basketball, do I play you know, do I watch football and stuff? And I'm like, no, I'm doing that. Do I go to the club? I'm like, no, I'm doing that. They, they think I'm weird and shit, but anything, you know, edifying and shit, they don't they don't um you know, they don't get into like we're sitting there working, and there's two Edomites that work with me. You know what I mean? They're asking about, they're talking about the, uh, in Ukraine and all this shit. And these niggas over here, these niggas that I work with, they're, you know, talking about, um, you know, uh, Meek Mills and Rick Ross and Lil Wayne and, you know, dumb shit. You know what I mean? They totally, you know what I mean? There's no hope for them. They're a lost cause. Alright, so this is, uh, Proverbs 22 and 3. This is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple will pass on and are punished. All right? And we love the word prudent. A prudent means somebody with good judgment. So it says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil. And evil means, um, e evil meaning time and ill meaning bad. So 
a, proof, a wise man with good judgment sees the, the, the bad times that's coming upon his face and he would, you know, seek the most high and, and, and seek him ten times more as the scripture says, you know what I mean? But the majority of our people are just not going to get it, man. It's just, it's just made for destruction, you know what I mean? That's why scripture says in um, 2 Ezra 9 and 22, let the multitude perish then that was born in vain, but let my great be kept. And the multitude is the two thirds of our people, and the great is the uh the elect that the most high uh sanctified and uh chosen to uh endure to the end. It says a prudent man will see if the evil and hide himself, but the simple pass on and punish and these simple ass niggas that I'm referring to that we go out and try and uh, you know, um speak the word to them, whether they hear or forbear, they're gonna be destroyed, man. And, you know, I mean, all the shit they talked, all the uh, scoffing they did and stuff like that, they're going to be compared. They're going to be ashamed. You know what I mean? They're going to be taken out. And the most high got an arsenal of ways that he could take these niggas out. He could take them out during the race riots. He could take them out during martial law. He could take them out during the uh, thermonuclear destruction, ultimately. He could take them out during the famine. He could take them out, um, you know, with these uh, other two-thirds and stuff, these, these uh, civil unrest. You know what I mean? It's a whole collector of arsenal ways the most high can take you out, right? And uh let me, let me see. Uh, yeah, I guess all right, I, matter of fact, um I'll I'll I have another article but I'll you know what I mean I'll put that on part two but um hope this was uh edifying to you brothers. Um this is the first installment um I'm gonna give all praises to you. How about show me how shy? So I get before that, uh, you know, I hopefully, uh, you know, the most high puts me in the spirit, you know what I mean? I, I made other videos before, but you know what I mean? Hopefully I, I stay in the spirit and I, I'm diligent with this, you know what I mean? I'm trying to, you know, rededicate myself, you know, because, you know, uh, the most high is testing us, you know what I mean? And, and, but we're supposed to, you know, stay, stay diligent. So, you know what I mean? I pray that the most high puts the spirit on me to, to continue to make videos and continue to do my part in my camp and to help, you know, edify and push the word and be occupied in prophecy. And so with that, I want to give all praise to you. How about showing you all shy, double honest to the elders of great millstone and show along to the Akim that's keeping their word, that's keeping their garments and teaching the word of truth and sincerity. Show along.